and cut. Hi, I'm Samantha Simpson, and today's bow spring pose breakdown is baby mantis. Baby mantis is a great pose for opening the hips and opening the side body, and it can be done by almost anybody for immediate feeling of bliss. Give it a try and let me know what you think. So to get into baby mantis, I'm going to take you through uh, kind of a several step process. And it works if you have a mat, so you know that the direction we're going. If you don't have a mat, imagine where you would be in this rectangle. So I'm gonna start in the middle of the rectangle and I'm gonna to turn to a diagonal. And I've got my feet are a little bit wider than hip distance apart. Okay, and I am at a diagonal, it's called diagonal starter block. I'll slide my hands down to horseshoe hands on the knees and really get into that bow spring. My heels are light and I'm just prepping for what's coming next. So the hips are back, breathing into that full radiant heart and opening up, being open to open the body in a new way. And then I'll float the arms to the level of the horizon. Notice my torso here is gonna stay in the upright position. I'm gonna commit to sitting with my legs and I'll step my right foot back, all right? And then I'm going to keep standing in the ribs and the head, but slowly lower down in the legs. I'm gonna bend the knees. My butt stays behind both knees the whole time until I lower down. And then I'll untuck the back toes and take it to a hero foot. So hero foot is when the top of the foot presses down, all right? Now I'm going to arc to the right. And it just so happens if you positioned it like so, your hand will come to the upper top corner of the mat. And that is cool. Okay, and now from here, you wanna get that bow spring bow. So the hips are going back. The belly is so long from your belly button to your pubic bone, it gets really long. And then you can take the left hand to the side of the head here. Keep the elbow towards the nose. So avoid the urge to open the elbow up. It's gonna wanna do that. But instead, let it close like a door towards your nose. Find some breaths here. And then keeping the bow, the openness of the front body, start to arc. And you might find some more freedom if you slide your hand out a little bit more so it feels more balanced. Yeah. And then the more you tilt the crown of your head towards the floor, see I'm moving my hair so the hair is falling with gravity, the more the ribs can rise. And watch what happens if you lift the head, the ribs are gonna lower and consequently that standing hand is gonna get more weight on it. So I'm gonna tilt and then I can pull back. And this is the beautiful baby mantis pose. All right, to come out of it, you root your hips back and then you float up from the side ribs. I'll show you from a different perspective. So I'll show you from the front. Okay. So it's kind of like one leg is up like this the other leg is like that, and then we're gonna arc over and then place the hand at a diagonal from the knee. Woo! Maybe I should've put my hair back. <laughs> All right, so the hips go back and then take an ecstasy arm to the side of the head. The belly gets long, the throat gets long, and then you tilt the crown of your head towards the floor, oh wow and it just really opens up all the fascia right here. Remember to keep, keep that elbow down, don't let it fly. You'll get a richer opening in the side ribs. Also, the standing hand, you wanna keep an engagement in the bottom of the palm, and you wanna check to make sure the elbow doesn't hyperextend or lock out. So this is what it looks like when it's locked out. And then I just rotate it so that it's got a tone around the bone. It's got a little dimple there. It's not hyperextending. 
And when it looks double jointed, bad. Okay? We want to rotate and engage for safety, for strength. Good. And then to come out of it, float back up. So the, the reason that people like this one is relatively simple to accomplish and it feels really great. So give it a try and let me know what you think. Namaste.